Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Lift
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 091 of the Future Beat Show. I am your captain for the next two hours. I go by the name of Complexion. You might have heard of me. So as you know, we play nothing but the dopest future music. Whether it's like house, trap, hip-hop, whatever you want to call it, it's all good. In the background, this is Exo Flames of a Phoenix. I heard this and within 10 seconds I was like, I'm playing this on the show tonight. So as always, loads of dope music coming your way. Ray Witty, our New York astronaut, will be talking to El Blanco and Swisher Sweet. We have Planet X and Planet Next. And of course, you can hit me up at Complexion on Twitter. Use the hashtag TFBS and also DJ Complexion on Facebook. But for now, back to the music. This is brand new by Mike Baker, the bike maker. Cannot believe I get that right every single time. And the track is actually called Brand New. I was having a chat with the guy earlier. Extremely awesome gentleman. If you haven't already, go hit the follow button on Twitter, at Bike Maker, and tell him Complexion sent you. So nice, so um, I brought some friends, let's have some fun. Drinks on me, me on you. Kinda got a clue what we gon' do. It's times like these that make me breathe. In deeply, I don't ever wanna leave. Roll up my sleeves like it's work to do. Wanna go the distance, get berserk with you. Cool, but for now, let's enjoy ourselves. What you wanna drink, everything's top shelf. Who needs wealth just to have a good time? Good folks, I find, get me in the right mind. Unwind, kick your heels off. Let me rub your feet till you feel soft. Save for this move, go with the flow. Girl, watch these clothes just peel off. Oh, 
surgery No need to say I'm not, that's perjury Or something like it to the effect I'm gon' check you on it, don't it sound the way However you feel like getting down today You round away for lame, make a brother say Hey, what you all about, can I get you to stay? The answer's always yes, impress the fly women Have a few laps, undress and get up in them Hit them won't quit, you can chill for a bit The night is still young, we can feel real quick Or we can feel real long, like on and on No need to stop since I dropped the song I'm with it, you could be too Let's keep it prolific and brand new
This is brand new Nezuel. It's his remix of Diplo's Revolution. SoundCloud gods, please don't give me a strike for this. Sounds incredible, by the way.
in the background is someone called Cell Saga. It's called Wavelength. Sounding so dope and so right for Planet X. About to play it just before. Now coming up next, someone reposted this on my SoundCloud feed and immediately I was like, yo, I've got to play this on the show. The guy goes by the name of Fitzroy. And this is his remix of Drunken Love.
background that is zen the track is called a happy song i hope it made you as happy as it has made me now ladies and gentlemen it's time for planet next if you are unfamiliar with planet next go back and listen to my old shows and find out what that's all about uh this week is a time <laughs> i'll explain what planet next is we basically find an artist that we're really feeling play three tracks and then back to back no talking and uh, get you guys to vibe out to them this week it is a young man who goes by the name of hero he's from calgary canada and he recently released the weekend album Check him out, you're gonna love him. Complexion, complexion, complexion. Oh, 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 
Girl, you must just feel invincible Girl, you must just feel invincible So that was this week's Planet Next. A young man from Canada goes by the name of Hero. Hope you like those tracks. And by the way, we're always open to suggestions for Planet Next. If you know of anyone you think that I should feature, just tweet me, man. So I promised I'd play this last week, and I didn't. Brand new digital Mozart. This was called Matoka Kusanagi. Five points if you know where that's from. And last time I played this, everybody went crazy. If you're hearing it for the first time, lucky you. Incredibly dope is this brand new digital Mozart. It's called Matoko Kusanagi. His forthcoming FBI EP will be absolutely amazing, I can assure you. So we have to take a quick, quick ad break. 
straight after this, our very own New York astronaut, Bay Witty. We'll be talking to El Blanco and Swisher Sweet about a load of real dope things. And then, of course, we have Planet X coming straight after that. Hey guys, it's your girl Ray Witty. We're out in Brooklyn. And for this week's episode of Future Beats Radio, we have extra special guests. I'm joined by three guys that um, I personally know, so it's super exciting to work with them. We have Future Beats Records' own El Blanco Nino. You heard from him and I back over the winter this year. We sat down yeah, for a little yeah. bit. That was like November, I think. And then we also have um, one of his frequent collaborators and homeboy, Bass Bear. And all the way out of L.A., uh, DJ Swisher Sweet. To kick things off right away, I'm obviously going to start with Blanco. Um, how did you begin collaborating with Bass Bear? I feel like our collaboration was just a natural progression because we met each other um, roughly two years ago. And so we kind of just vibe with each other just on a DJ level on the tracks that we liked and whatnot. And he knew that I was a producer. And so, you know, as we got more familiar with each other and what we liked and what we didn't like, you know, I kind of just sat him down and just showed him, you know, different uh, programs like FL Studio. And then he also found out about Ableton as well. And he just started producing tracks. And, you know, after a while, he kind of just, you know, some of my production rubbed off on him. And we kind of just got comfortable enough to the point that we wanted to just collaborate exclusively on projects. So that's how um, Osos Blanco kind of started off was just us doing a collaborative effort. And from what I understand, Ray, you and Swisha Sweet met first. Do you want to walk us through how you guys got to end up working together? I met Swisha through pretty much digging through my friend, my friend's um, Kush Jones. He's like a good friend of mine from the Bronx. Um, he hit me up, and then after I was like going through his stuff, I came across Swisha Sweet stuff on SoundCloud. I'm like, hey man, this kid's dope too. Who's your friend? <laughs> Holla. So Swish, what can you tell us about the difference with you being here in New York for a little bit of time and spinning some parties? What's the difference between making moves here as opposed to um, in your hometown of L.A.? I mean, L.A. is a lot more like case to case. It's just like if you know the person really, it's like guaranteed you're going to play. Like you could be the worst DJ and play stuff in L.A., <laughs> which I've seen. But... I don't know, out here, just from my experience, I guess I'm kind of lucky. I've been, because I know these guys, so I get, like, any, like, hot action, that's going to be fun. But uh, I guess I could refer to Webster Hall, because I randomly were just there, and then I ended up playing, like, a couple tracks, like, like, ten minutes. But it was, like, yeah, it was a random special guest set, because uh, Marvelito was playing, but it was really fun. It was just, like, a really good response, same energy as, like, I mean, Ellie has a good energy, but I like the energy out here. It's a lot better, but just moves-wise, it seems a lot more to the point out here. It's like out in LA, you have to do a lot more politic and kind of, because like there's not as many events that go on out there. Got it. Where else have you DJed on the East Coast? I'm, I'm, you were recently in DC. Is there any other any other spots? Uh, no, just DC. We, uh, it was just me. Blanco and Bass Bear. We played for a Native Son's birthday. And that was really fun. And yeah, that's it. I just played there and then the random Webster Hall thing. Oh yeah, I played the Quench Party too. Yeah, yeah I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. And then um, who else was there? Starro was like uh, a special yeah, guest. Star yeah, Starro. Yeah, it was more of a club vibe. Like It wasn't really like a show vibe. It was like a just a typical like club like a party. night. Yeah. Cool. So we want to take it back, flashback to a few months ago, um, base where you were featured as one of Serato DJs, Serato cast residents. Talk to me about that experience, and can you speak to any future plans to possibly? Um. Okay. Well, first, um, me linking with Serato happened when I went to South by Southwest. Um, when me and me and Blanco got put on the. Um, the B House OK Future Serato lineup with uh, Iman Omari, Lockham, Natus, Just Blaze, Dave Lux. Super lineup. You know, we both threw down and 
Serato was like in the back, like just being like, you know, just creeping on us. And I didn't realize, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going in all natural. And then when I finally left the booth, um, this guy, he goes by um, <clears throat> Matthew Perry. He came up to me. He's like, yo, man, I've really enjoyed what you do and stuff like that. He gave me his card. Next thing you know, I see that it's like a Serato card. I'm like, Are you serious? Like, you really like look, like my stuff? And he's like, yeah, man, like I'm going to link you and, and all that. He links me to the New York team, which is operated by one man. He goes by um, Matthew Chacon. Also known, also known as Recluse. Um, ever since I met him, it's it's just been like it's just been like work, like constant work. He like gave me an opportunity to do a mix for Serato, which is called Serato Cast, which I was featured in May. Um, I recorded I recorded it at, at Serato, like super nervous because it's like I'm just I'm just like a rookie in the game, so it's like making sure I make a good impression. But it turned out pretty. It turned out pretty good. Like I was really happy about all the results, all the feedback I've been getting. And in, but in the future, I'm I'm currently doing some small projects with them, which it's more like ciphers where I have DJs of my own. They come through and they like spin a little bit, like a lot of meet and greet, introdu- introductory workshop class. That's dope. That's a great opportunity. Awesome to hear that that Serato is down for the talent, and you don't have to have like a a huge background of all this that, that that they're just down to to invest in talented DJs. I've been learning to realize that Serato is really like you know since they're that num- they're the number one brand for DJs like they're really all about DJ culture and make and building a, D- a DJ community. You know th- like the information's all out there. Everybody can share knowledge and stuff like that. You know. That is great to hear. And with with that, now that we we have covered Skyview, Bass Bear, if you could tell us a little bit about the new project, Osos Blanco. Well, Osos Blanco is just pretty much like ever since I'm ever since I met Christian, we've always been um on his Fruity Loops, just like trying out new samples and beats. So every time every time we try a new sample, I always put like a Jersey Club kick pattern. Just to see if it's if it's like club ready or we can do like push out a crazy remix, and um and and neither of us had like the knowledge to push out a Jersey Club record, but it's just more of like practicing, learning how to produce until like I finally like f- like crack the code or something like that, which pretty much like um led to the Sam Gelatry Sam Sam Gelatry remix that we did um I think two months ago. Like that was literally our first breakthrough to finally make club music, and and that was literally like our recipe. We we're like, listen, this is you and me. We're just gonna call it Osos Blanco because Oso means bear in Spanish, and Blanco because Blanco. So, yeah. so pretty much it's like saying, mm-hmm. I follow yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> we all learned something Spanish today. <laughs> yeah. White bears. White bears because Osos is plural. O S O S Blanco. Also Sprunkle. Got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apologies to anybody that got it wrong up to this point. We forgive you. Like <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> had also Blanco a couple of times and like some people get it confused, but it's okay. Alright, you heard it. Um you can check for links from all of the guys that will be on the website after the show. And we're gonna sign off and you know, argue about music. Like like we always do so thank you so much everyone for listening and uh we'll talk to you soon bye 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 thank you so much ray blanco bass bear and swisher sweet for the interview you know it's a shout out to bass bear man sorry dude i didn't know you were actually in the interview <laughs> my bad man this is brand new by my boy ozzy it's called girl we have 20 minutes until we have to pass Planet X. Hope you guys are ready for feels this week. I know your yeah, shout coming out real soon as well.
This is Hot Box with Lead Fumes. And I have to give the shout outs out because they're piling up and I gotta do this quick. So shout out to Chiquito or Chicody from San Francisco. My boy Doug Richer, thank you so much for the dope new artwork. I'm gonna holler at you, my man. Kay Corella, Storm Kunis, Mike Baker, the bike maker, Chris Ocean. Any relation to Frank? I hope so. Give me the album. Shout out to Camille, to the uh, guys over at Alea. Drinking it organic orange tea, I think it is, isn't it? Is it orange? Orange. Something that looked dope. Shout out to you guys. My boy Flip D, the wonderful Yannicka, Kelly Charlie Dewey X SXL. My boy Daniel Cool. Soft focus. Shout out to you guys. Matthias Monturi. My brother Digital Mozart. Thank you so much for listening in, guys, as always. Now, one thing I get a lot of people asking me is, yo, where can we buy Future Beats radio merchandise? Well, everything is finally available. The shop is now set up, ready to, you guys to throw your money at the screen. Buy that good stuff, support us, if you like, obviously. The links are now on our Twitters, FBR, Yaz Beats and Complexion. If you're listening on SoundCloud, the link will be in the description. Hope you guys like it.
This is someone new I discovered who goes by the name of Slum. You best believe I'll be playing more of his stuff real soon. So we have to take a quick ad break and we'll be right back with Planet X. So ladies and gentlemen, we have to pass Planet X on the way home back to Earth. If you're unfamiliar with this planet, trust me, you and your feels are about to get real familiar. So for the next 30 minutes, there's nothing but sad boy music. Turn your phone off. Don't be texting or calling your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. And if you do, don't blame me.
don't think I'll forget this.
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of another Future Beat show. Thank you so much to everyone that's rocking out with us for the last two hours. I really hope you enjoyed the show. And of course, Planet X, emotional as always. We'll be back next week. Right, we got this track sent really, really last minute from my boy Jay Reek, and he literally sent it in. He's like, yo, if you can play this, or you even say if you play it, because if you can check it out, let me know what you think. So this is brand new Jay Reek, and it's his cover of Taku and Lena Perez's Down For You. Falling, falling you. We'll see you next week. I can't keep away. Peace. Are you listening? I want you to stay. Before you go, I want you to know that I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still down for me. Yeah, yeah.